Hey guys, as we all know, Starbucks is a very expensive habit that a lot of people have created nowadays. So today I'm going to talk you through how to make three of their most popular drinks. The mocha cookie crumble frappuccino, the brown sugar shake and espresso, and their peppermint mocha. So for the mocha cookie crumble, you'll need a blender, frapp roast, mocha sauce, whipped cream, milk, ice, java chips and like oreo cookie crumbles so for this drink you're going to start off well if it's a venti you're going to get the venti cup and for most of well for all of the frappuccinos no for most of the frappuccinos you're going to do for a venti you're going to do four pumps of the frapp base into your venti cup and then on the cups they have three lines and you're gonna get your whole milk and pour it up to this first line. And then you're gonna pour it into your blender and you're gonna get your venti scoop of ice and put it in the blender. You're gonna pump four pumps of milk in there. You're gonna do your four scoops of java chips and you're gonna get your coffee base, which is like, um, it's just a syrup that keeps everything together and you're going to do four pumps of that in there as well you're going to put all of that in the blender put your blender in the machine then you're going to press the one and that button is for the frappuccinos at starbucks and while that is blending you're going to get your whipped cream and put your whipped cream in the bottom of the cup get your cookie crumbles put some in the bottom then as it finishes well when it finishes you're going to get your frapp Pacino and pour it in the cup and top it off with whipped cream, mocha drizzle, and the cookie crumbles. Okay, for the um, brown sugar shake and espresso, you're going to need your Mastrano machine. You're going to need blonde roast beans, your brown sugar syrup, your cinnamon powder, your oat milk, ice, and a shaker. Okay, for this drink, you're going to cue four blonde shots, and while that's pouring, you're going to get your shaker, and you're going to overfill the shaker with ice, So, because the ice is going to melt down anyway. You're going to do your six pumps of brown sugar. You're going to do six pumps of brown sugar in the cup, and then put your cinnamon powder in there, and whenever the four shots are finished, you're going to pour it over the ice, put the top on the shaker, shake it ten times, pour it in the cup, your venti cup and then top it off with oat milk the cup i mean this drink is not supposed to be a latte it's only supposed to get a splash of oat milk that's how we were taught how to do it at a lot of the starbucks they end up making it into a latte because of the amount of milk that they put in okay for the venti peppermint mocha you're gonna need um a hot cup mocha sauce your peppermint syrup my strainer machine to pull the shots a steaming pitcher, milk, and whipped cream, and the chocolate curls. Okay, for this drink, you're going to get your steaming pitcher. You're going to pour the milk up to the top line, not like how on the Frappuccino you do it to the bottom because you add the ice and stuff and that, you know, it builds the drink up. But for the lattes, you put it to the top line and then you steam it. Whenever you steam it, you want to put the steaming one in the cup all the way and then pull it down let it bubble bring your cup down let it foam up a little bit at the top and then set it down and let the steaming process finish after well while it's steaming you're going to pull your two shots and then um while that's pulling and while your milk is steaming you're going to get your cup and put your your pumps i think it's five pumps of mocha five pumps of peppermint you're going to put those in this in your cup your venti hot cup and then when the shots are finished you put your shots in there mix it up so the mocha and the peppermint mix in with the shots and then when you take your milk out of the steamer wand you're gonna tap it on the um tap it on the table so you can get some of that foam off and then wipe the um steaming one with the towel so it doesn't uh get all cakey and stuff on there and just disgusting looking then you're gonna fill up the um 
cup with your steamed milk and leave a little bit of room on top for the whipped cream and then you're gonna do your whipped cream and add the chocolate curls on top that's all